All right, guys, welcome to Custom NHL Builds, the series where I create EASHL player builds based on actual NHL players. It's been a while since I did one of these videos and an even longer while since I built a forward, but today I'm finally going to cover probably my most requested player, and that is Czech Phenom and Bruins forward David Pasternak. Pasternak has a unique combination of skills in the sense that he's an elite goal scorer, uh, finishing this partial season tied for the league lead in goals with 48, as well as an equally gifted puck handler. Playing on the aptly named Perfection Line along with Bergeron and Marchand, he provides a lethal finishing touch and, and a flavor of creativity that meshes perfectly with his line mates. It's hard to believe that he only just turned 24. Uh, he borders on being just too good to build properly in this game. So despite being a sniper in NHL 20, his puck skills are on par or better than his shooting skills, which definitely presents a challenge for building him in EASHL. I probably went through three or four builds before finally settling on this one, and while it's definitely far from perfect, as most of these builds are, I feel it's about as close as you're going to get to an EAS EASHL Pasternak build. So I knew I had to build him as a sniper, and luckily he's just the right size for that. At 6 feet, 194 pounds, he's 7 pounds away from being too big to build as a sniper. I went with Offensive Minded 2 for the primary trait. This is going to boost his puck control and hopefully help a little bit with his hands a bit. Uh, then I went with Quick Rister 2 to turn his shot from good to very good. I finally went with Loose Puck Deeks as the specialty, which hopefully is going to help with the fancy moves and allow for a little more creative flair. The sniper build has very low deking at 79, but hopefully with his high puck control, offensive awareness, and that loose uh, puck deke specialty, it's going to help a little bit uh, to make his hands a little better than your average sniper build. So one of the first things I did with this build was put the dangles to the test. I'm happy to say that I found great success with just about every move in the game. I tested him out a week or two ago in a few drop-in games and didn't fail a single deke in any one of the games. While there's definitely better specialties out there, uh, the thing I like about loose puck deeks is that it covers a wide array of deeks. So the Zetterberg, the through the legs deke, the Kyle Turris, the off the skate deke, the behind the back one-hander, pretty much any fancy deke in the game this uh, specialty helps with. It definitely makes this build different from most sniper builds I've used in the past. The other thing that separates this from most other sniper builds is his size. So he's definitely not a big guy, but he's almost as big as the game allows you to make a sniper. So this allows him to not only take hits well, but dish them out well too. It also helps uh, for the sixes game when it comes to cycling down low, working from the corner, forechecking, and playing in front of the net. He's definitely far from invincible, but I find that he doesn't get bullied around as much as other speedy sniper builds. So. Speaking of speed, because of that size, he's only an average skater. This is fine, I think, since I definitely wouldn't consider the real posture knock to be like a speedster. And with all his skating stats in the mid-80s, he's definitely not slow, but that speed doesn't stand out much to me either. I think the real issue with his skating is his endurance, which, because of that loose puck deeks specialty instead of marathon man, uh, you can find yourself drained of energy at times, especially in threes mode. So make sure you're utilizing that turbo conservatively and playing smart positionally, and this shouldn't be too much of a problem. His shot, as expected, is excellent. Maybe it's not quite as lethal as I'd hoped for from distance, but it is rare that he misses the back of the net when left open in the slot. And even when those passes are a little behind you and not perfectly on target, he's able to shoot quickly and precisely. He's definitely a great finisher. His biggest weakness, I'd say, as with most sniper builds, is that defense. Especially, you know, the sniper build already has pretty poor defensive stats, but since I went with Offensive Minded 2 as the primary trait, those are even lower than a base sniper. Uh, so, he has decent reach and physical skills, but his ability to pick off passes is just about as bad as it gets. Intercepting passes requires pretty much perfect positioning, and even then doesn't guarantee the desired result. You really don't want to be caught as the last man back with this build, and because of that, I really wouldn't recommend playing center with this build, which is fine since Pasternak is a winger anyway. All in all, I'd say this is probably my favorite sniper build I've made. 
He feels true to David Pasternak's playstyle and that he excels in multiple aspects of the game outside of just shooting. Anyway guys, that's my pasta build. I know you guys have been waiting on this one for a long time, so I hope you like this video. Uh, leave a request in the comments section for who you'd like me to, uh, to build next, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.